Our next question is from mad.max2468. This is on Instagram. And he asks, what are some of my favorite drum books? That's a good question, man. I don't know if I've been asked that uh, recently. So I've got... I've got three that I'll give you. Um, first one is Future Sounds. Future Sounds is by David Garibaldi. It's like a funk fusion groove book is how I would describe it. But man, just some powerful ideas in there. A lot of ideas in there are are surprisingly simple. Like you'll <laughs> you'll be able to kind of play it. You can read the pattern and go, oh, I see what's happening there. But executing it with the proper feel to make it feel anything like David Garibaldi Man, that's a that's a much taller order. So you can spend a lot of time in future sounds, but that's a good example of a book where you really just need like one page at a time. Like don't you're not gonna finish future sounds. It's it's just not the way to think about it. But crack it open, get a little um, an idea, a groove idea out of there, and that'll keep you busy for weeks. You know, so future sound is a killer killer book, and it's fairly old. It can't be more than twenty bucks. So highly recommended. Um, another one would be Yo Snickles. Groove book and Yo Snickles Phil book. He has sent me both of those, or rather, I bought one and he sent me another one. Man, I love that the book is not just you know sheets of drum notation. That's not at all what what his books are. They are in depth explanations of concepts that he has. And yes, of course, there are staffs and and notated grooves and fills and things in the book, but it's much more of like like his conceptual approach to creating these. So for example, I'm not gonna give away anything in the book in particular, you know, you go spend the $20, it's well worth it, but um, he has an idea called like a switch groove where it's an orchestration concept. So play the groove this way with your right hand on the hi-hats and your left hand on the snare. And then the next time you play it in beats two and three, your right hand goes over here but if that happens, then your left hand has to do this. Like it's these little rules and, and almost like these rhythmic games that he has in his mind. And they're they're really like exploration exercises because if you go through the rules that he gives you for any given concept, you realize that the concepts in the book actually expand well outside of the book. So it's a lot more information, this is, is true to concepts in general, but it's a lot more information than what the book actually gives you. So the book just gives you like these, again, it's like little games. And if you play the game on your own, you'll realize that the concept expands well beyond the parameters of the book itself. And so I, I just love that that type of authoring from Yo Snickle because it's really, it's just far beyond what you think of when you think of a drum book. So they're very, very deep, heavily conceptual. Um, and I've gotten some killer ideas out of all of those, or both of those books from him rather. Um, the third one I'll give you is kind of a ridiculous suggestion, but New Breed. New Breed is the kind of book where like, you know, in future sounds where I said you can just you just need like a page new breed. You just need like a measure. That's all you really need a measure, maybe two measures. And I'll see you next month. Like it's that absurdly hard. But if you ever, ever want like a serious challenge, whether it's a coordination challenge, like an independence challenge or I don't know if you just need to put your ego in check and get a little dose of humility like that book will will mess you up. It's a, it's a, just brutality from cover to cover. So New Breed would have to go on there. It's just one of the most, um, one of the most intricate books. Uh, some of the concepts in there are just brutal. Also, Chris Coleman talks about New Breed a lot. And if you are f familiar at all with some of the exercises in that book, you can see like, oh, when you master this, then you get a Chris Coleman. So hopefully that makes sense. Those would be my, my three book suggestions for sure. But realistically, Future Sounds and Yo Snickles Groove and Phil books, that's what I would recommend. And New Breed if you wanna hate yourself. Thank you for watching this clip. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're looking to in any way make yourself a better drummer online, which let's be honest, you probably are. That's why you click this video. Uh, make sure to click the link in the description or the link that's around here somewhere. Free seven day trial to my online drum school. You'll find 160 hours of drum lessons there and one of the world's largest collections of drumless play alongs. Trust me, you will find something you love and I would love to have you on board. OrlandoDrummer.com, I will see you there.